Hi, I'm Anish from marineinsight.com and I'm delighted to welcome you all to our YouTube channel exclusive The Marine Insight Show. Through this section, we will connect you to highly qualified individuals and influential maritime personalities uh, from different aspects of the shipping industry to throw an insight which will help you understand uh, the industry better and also answer many of your queries. Uh, before going ahead, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get connected. In this episode of the Marine Insight Show, we have one of the most astound professional from the freight and logistic industry, Mr. Harish Manadia, who is the author of shippingandfreightresource.com, a niche website providing quality content to the shipping and freight industry uh, since 2008. Today we are going to discuss with him career choices between a freight forwarder and a supply chain professional, also known as logistic service provider. Hi Harish. Thank you for joining us today and giving us your time to discuss this topic. Thanks to the team at uh, Marine Insight for this opportunity to speak about this important topic. I'm Harish Manadia. I'm a shipping and freight professional in the industry for the last 30 years. My first question to you, Harish, is uh, for those who are not aware of the shipping and logistic industry, can you uh, let us know briefly who is a freight forwarder and who is a supply chain professional and what do they do? Many people don't understand the difference between a freight forwarder and a supply chain professional. A freight forwarder is, in very simple terms, someone who undertakes to handle the movement of goods from point A to point B. They are a very integral part of the whole supply chain and they are they handle multiple functions within the within the supply chain. The supply chain professional, on the other hand, is someone who looks after the management of the entire supply chain. And when I say supply chain, I speak about it including various components of supply chain, such as freight, maritime, shipping, logistics, all of it put together. So, for example, a supply chain professional will be involved from movement of the cargo from the farm to the shelf of a store using all of these uh, functionalities mentioned. Thank you for the explanation, Harish. Now moving ahead, if someone is interested, how he can become a freight forwarder? What is the qualification requirement? Well, in terms of educational requirements to become a freight forwarder, there is nothing hard and fast that says you need to be qualified in XYZ before you become a freight forwarder. Um, there are of course the main issues that are related to the industry itself, which you need to be aware of, such as uh, the various regulations that are in place, the trade agreements in place, INCO terms rules, and for uh, special cargo like dangerous goods, how it is to be shipped, how it is to be packed, how it is to be labeled, and what are all the declarations required those kind of information are key to uh, handle the shipments as a freight forwarder because a customer, whether it is an importer or an exporter, are looking towards you as a freight forwarder to guide them on what is required in order to get their shipments from A to B in a smooth and efficient manner. And also save cost because for a lot of customers, cost is an important factor and a freight forwarder can use his or her experience to reduce the cost as much as possible for the customer. All right. Similarly, if someone wants to be a supply chain uh, professional, how he can become one and what is the qualification requirement? The same thing as a, a freight forwarder applies to a supply chain professional also. There is no requirement as such. Like, for example, if you, if you have to be a lawyer, you have to be, you have to have a law degree or you have to be a doctor, you have to be a medical degree. There is no such requirement because this is a general field and a lot of it comes from experience and knowing the process and learning what is required from there. And that learning need not always come from uh, books, but a supply chain professional needs to know the wider uh, aspects of trade and the need for supply chain, where it starts, where it begins, the processes of procurement, the process of vendor management, the process of operational management, 
all that is required and a lot of it I mean, there are of course courses for for these but uh, they, this is not a requirement for somebody to enter the industry but of course if you if people are qualified in certain uh, of these industries it is it is welcome and they stand a better chance of uh, getting a job with with supply chain companies as we are talking about these professions the next set of question arises are where are the institution based what are the job prospects for someone interested in learning about freight forwarding and become a freight forwarder eventually a lot of the freight forwarding associations in various countries have uh, diploma programs for example which they which they offer to many of the candidates uh, either as online or uh, face to face uh, education then there is also some courses like the inco terms courses which is offered by the international chamber of commerce which as i mentioned earlier is very is a very important um aspect of freight forwarding um, in co terms um for for a supply chain pro- professional there are companies or there are associations like the association of supply chain management whose uh, certified supply chain professional program is very popular and is quite valuable then um, institutes like the chartered institute of logistics and transport offers courses in both supply chain and freight forwarding so there are several opportunities and apart from all of these there are certain um localized institutes or uh, experienced people who are offering these courses within each city the next question which we usually get from our readers are there any opportunities in this line for seafarers this is a very interesting question i am really glad that you asked uh, this question seafarers are the backbone of the industry and they may sometimes want to come back to show based jobs and for them uh, jobs like freight forwarding or supply chain will definitely be beneficial and more so they come with a huge advantage into these industries or these careers because they have a very good understanding of how cargo handling works what sort of cargoes are loaded how it is handled at, at the various ports in in uh, various terminals how the whole process of shipping works what happens if uh, if there are some misdeclarations or under declarations of cargo or weights on board the ship what impact it can have on the on the lives and uh, the cargo that is on the ship and to the ship itself so basically they have a very good advantage on, in in that they know what not to do or what right processes to follow so when they come into the industry in, in these careers they will come with the right mindset to do the do things the right way all right moving to the uh, most important question if someone has to make a career choice between a freight forwarder and a supply chain professional so according to you uh, which is which has more potential and more opportunities actually it's a very difficult question to answer because uh, there is no one path to to be to be honest and and it's difficult to uh, say which one has more potential or opportunities because both the roles deal with different aspects of the whole industry but of course there are some areas where where it can um, overlap it all depends on the interest of the candidate as well or what they're interested in in in, in, in which direction to go because for example a supply chain of uh, professional has uh, the option or opportunity to involve in various areas of the supply chain including procurement forecast planning product planning um warehousing all those all those kind of activities whereas the freight forwarder is working more closely with the clients and the uh, government entities and the regulatory authorities and they 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 are somebody on the ground who sees what is happening on a daily basis they interact with the port they interact with customs so so it, it's it's two different areas of work and uh, therefore it's 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 a bit difficult to say which would be which would make a good career choice if we have to talk about the future what are the future prospects look uh, the future prospects are quite bright because supply chain is supply chain industry or our industry is not going anywhere and it is only growing it is uh, it has been considered as an essential service 
even in the times of uh, this COVID-19 pandemic, for example. And supply chain is proving uh, proving itself because it is it is connecting the people with what is required, especially in these kinds in these times of hardship. Uh, so the prospects are quite bright for people who are interested in this uh, in this industry and who want to grow in this industry. And especially if you're technically or technologically inclined, there is a lot of uh, lot of prospects because the whole industry has not been digitalized for quite a long time. And now is the time when there are a lot of digital uh, activities happening. There's a lot of startups coming up and people are seeing the advantages of um, bringing technology into the supply chain and uh, supply chain industry. And that is that for the youngsters of today is a very, very good opportunity and uh, has good prospects going forward as well. All right, moving ahead to my next question. What kind of salary, security and lifestyle one can expect from this field? Well, I cannot comment on salaries as they are different all over the world. But uh, what I can say is in terms of job security, that should not be an issue for the people with the right knowledge, expertise and experience and, and also the interest. And also, as I mentioned, digitalization is here in the industry. but um, at this stage, no amount of digitalization is going to put us out of a job, not at least in the near future. But in terms of lifestyle, what the people uh, in this industry or who want to enter this industry need to be prepared for is a lot of hard work because um, we are on call 24-7. We don't, we don't have a timeline. Uh, ships are coming all the time. Trade is flowing all the time. Uh, business is happening all the time at, at, at any given time. Some country in the world is awake, so we need to be prepared to handle all those all those issues that can come up at any time. So you need to be prepared for late nights, later nights, going into mornings, working on weekends, working on public holidays, all within reason, of course. But as as if you want to enter this dynamic industry, you must be prepared and ready for this kind of a lifestyle. Thank you for the insight, Harish. My last question to you how one can grow and move forward in this field? Well, like any industry, in this industry also, in order for you to succeed and grow, you need to have that dedication, you need to have that passion, you need to have that interest, and you need to have that drive. And you need to be able to learn from anybody and everything, right from the uh, uh, reach truck operator in, in, in the warehouse, to the picker and packer in the warehouse or to the COO of the warehouse or anybody that you see in the process of this business, you need to be learning. You have to be learning constantly and that is the only way you will understand what is required and what you need to move yourself to the next level or to take yourself to the next level of this business. Thank you so much for your time, Harish, and for this valuable information. Before going, is there anything you want to tell our viewers? Well, all of what I've said so far might be intimidating or uh, too much to, to, to some of the people, especially the newcomers. From my experience, one thing I can tell you uh, is that I have not regretted a single minute of this industry that I've been a part of for the last 30 years. Um, I'm, still, uh, I'm still seeking, I'm still learning, I'm still knowing. And I'm still growing because learning never exhausts the mind. So that is the best advice that I can give the newcomers or the people who are trying to enter this industry. Learn, learn, learn. Thank you. So that was Mr. Harish Manadia from shippingandfreightresource.com. If you like this video and would want to watch more maritime professionals speak, do let us know in the comments. Lastly, do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe.